Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process of Windows 10 computer replacement using SCCM. Just say if a user had Windows 7, computer A, and you want to give her Windows 10, which is computer B. So you want to transfer the data from computer A and then upgrade to Windows um, to Windows 10 on computer B. So that is computer replacement, computer A to computer B. So there's a few steps that you have to follow. First of all, you need to create two task sequence. One is called the replace client task sequence. And the other one is the the restore test sequence. It's, it's just the regular standard client test sequence. Now let's get started. We're going to create two test sequences. First of all, we're going to create replace test sequence. Let's go to my SCCM console. I'm going to test sequence. This is going to be a replace test, a capture test sequence, so it's a replace. Create test sequence. Oh, that's the wrong one. Test sequence again. Go to create MDT test sequence. I'm using MDT integration, so I get this options here. Create MDT test sequence. And under client test sequence, you want to choose client replace test sequence. I'm going to click next. I'm going to call this computer replace capture. I'm going to click next. Specify an existing boot image package. I'm going to Choose my existing boot image, which is MDT boot x64. I'm going to click next. Spe specify an existing Microsoft deployment toolkit. You can specify the existing one or you can create a new one. It's really simple. I'm going to use the existing one. So this one, it's called MDT file package. Next, specify an existing USMT package. Here's my USMT package. Next, again, you can create a new one or you can use an existing one. Specify an existing setting package. Here's my setting package. Click next and click next. And looks good, no error. As you can see here, successful. And click finish. The the other test sequence is the regular test sequence. I'm going to right click, create MDT test sequence. So it's going to be client test sequence. It's default. I'm going to call this restore. Click next. I'm going to join to work group. The account with admin rights is this account. Oops, sorry. Um, it should be just Carson Cloud. The account is Carson. Carson Cloud. Password. Click 
Click OK. Call this Carson Cloud INC users. It's going to be Carson, Carson Cloud user. I'm not going to enter the product key. My product key is already in the um, my settings in the um, setting package. Uh, I don't need to enter that here. Enable account password, the local min lo local administrator account password. Click next. Let's find this test sequence we never use to capture. Specify the existing boot image. Use the same boot image. Click next. Again, I'm using the same MDT package. So it's MDT file package. Next again. The existing OS, it's going to be my Windows 1903. Click next. It's going to be a zero touch. Configuration manager client. Click next. Existing USMT package. Next. The setting package. It's the same package as the other test sequence. No space prep is required. Next, and I'm going to finish. All right, look like it is successful. So let's see, look at the step-by-step -step instruction here again. And the next thing you want to do is you want to install the state migration point. I already have state migration point install so I don't need to um, I don't need to install it so it's really simple you can just go to administration if you want to if you have not installed it you want to click on the site table you want to install it on and click on add site roles so since I already added the property, um, I put it in the user data and the the lead policy, it's going to be delete after five days. And the maximum number of clients is 100, maximum free space is 100. You want to make sure you add your boundaries so that way a CCM client can find the um, state migration point. All right, um, so let's see. So second step is you want to create a computer associate associations. So what you need to do is I'm going to, I'm going to capture the Windows 7 machines from Win 7-002. And I'm going to store it. I'm going to migrate it to Windows 10 009. So to do computer association, you go back to SCM console here. You want to click on assets and compliance. And we'll click on device, right click, and you want to hit computer information or import computer information and import single computer. Computer name, just give it a name. The MAC address, you need to know the MAC address. So let's go to Windows, this device here, right click, go to settings. The MAC address is this one under network and advanced features. This is the MAC address. Let me capture the screenshot.
So we're we'll back here. I'm going to type in the MAC address 00155D52789. And the SMS SMB BIOS good. You don't need that. It's not required. Source computer. It's going. It's going to be Windows uh, Win Seven. Computer number two. Click on it and click on search. And find the computer here. Click next. I'm going to capture all user profiles. Click next. Here's the um, preview summary information. Click next. Choose additional collection. Click next to add new computers to all system collection. I'm going to add that computer or the this Win 10 009 computer to the collection that I'm going to deploy, which is the restore collection. Click OK. Click next and click next. I'm going to give it a few minutes. Um, then you can go to user state migration. As you can see here, source computer, which is this computer, and the destination is this computer. And if you right click, go to view recovery information. As you can see, there's no data because I have not captured the data from Win Windows 7002 yet. So before I do that, I need to deploy my test sequence. So computer capture, I'm going to deploy to The capture collection. Click next. You know what? I'm going to rename my test sequence so I don't get mixed up here. Go to property. I'm going to call this YouTube. Because I got a lot of uh, test sequence. I'm going to call this YouTube also. So step number two is done. Um, step number three, you're going to deploy the collection. I mean the test sequence. So I'm going to deploy this capture test sequence to the collection that I have my source computer. Click next. It's available. I'm just going to choose, um, it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to choose this one. Click next, it's going to be available, next, and next, and next again. And I'm going to deploy the restore task sequence. And it's going to be the restore here. Oops, it's going to be the Pixie. Keep going and close. Let's take a look at the collection here. The restore collection, make sure I have the computer in there. Let's all right, it's not in there yet. Um, I'm going to add that computer, which is 09. Right click, add to existing collection. So restore.
There we go. It shows up now. <laughs> so now um, I'm ready to run the capture test sequence, which is the the replace client test sequence. So let's go back here again. I'm going to my t my um, Windows 7 machine. So I got um, data here under data, C drive and data. It should capture all this data here and copy to the new computer. Let's look at the software center. I'm going to force the uh, computer policy. Action. Run. Refresh. So it's not here yet. Um, it's going to take a few minutes. All right, as you can see, the uh, task, sequence, task sequence is no show up. So I'm going to click on it and then click on install. Confirm. All right, so the, this test sequence will take a few minutes. Let's give it some time. I'm, I'm going to pause the recording and keep going and recording. So just be patient. So now it's capturing the data. All right, look like it's want to restart. I think that's finished. Now let's take a look at the, um, the state migration point. I'm going to the state migration point itself. Should be this one. Now let's take a look at the the uh, state migration from here. I'm gonna refresh. Let's click on view recovery information. It's not there yet. Maybe it is still running. Let's take a look again. Yeah, so it is still running. Um, it's not finished. Let's give it a few more minutes. So it, once it finished, you should be able to see 
the uh, recovery information in here under user state lo store location and also in your state migration point folder you just have to um, find the the GUID from this uh, this area so now it started restart it again I think that's finished let's take a look at the this file now it's not there yet refresh okay I guess it's gonna take some time here um, not there yet let's take a look again view recovery information there it is as you can see it points to the this GUID which is start end with 57e let's take a look 57e so it's this one and here's the file this file store all the data from my Windows 7 machines. And now the next thing, the final step you're going to do is you're going to run the um, the restore from the new machine. So let's go back to my Windows 10 device. I'm going to boot this up. Turn it on. Pixie boot. All right, I'm ready to re-image this machine. Click next. Here's the um, the restore. Click next. That's it. So it's it's in the process of running the upbrain system restore and then restore the data. So we can take a look at the the console. It's going to say in progress. So you want to make sure this information is here before you run the um, the restore test sequence. This will take some time. I'm going to pause the recording and continue and pause and continue. All right, as you can see here now, it's downloading the WIM file. Let's 
and now it's applying the operating system It's applying the drivers. It's running the configuration uh, client. Now it's going to restart. Now take a look at the console see if it's changed when it's finished and successfully uh, migrated you should see the under migration status it should say success Wow, it's taking a long time. So it's almost there. Let's wait a few more minutes. So it's at the final step. It's installing the configuration manager client. So far, so good. Um, there's no errors. Install software. So I don't have any software to install. This is probably going to be quick. It's copying the log files to the share. Now let's take a look at the console. Click on it and then go to refresh. So it has not changed to success yet. All right, look like it. It's at the final step. Let's give it a few more minutes. All right, it's finished. Let me log in. So as you can see here, um, I just refreshed the screen and now it shows success. As I mentioned earlier, the migration status needs to be success in order to complete. That's it.
and thank you for watching. So this will take a while to log in. Um, thank you for watching and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.